welcome back everybody this is coaster daddy today i want to discuss some of the new coasters i'm going to get to ride this year and that is new coasters to me not brand new for 2019 per se but some of my most anticipated new credits that i am going to get to experience so i'm going to start off with king's island king's island in mason ohio it's about a three and a half hour drive for me and i'm going to visit this place at least once this year I've been to Kings Island once, and that was all the way back in 2007. I was only able to get seven credits there and only rode them once. Plus, it's been way too long, so I need to get back here. Um, The new credits here that I am really looking forward to are Banshee, Diamondback, and Mystic Timbers. As, obviously, when I went in 2007, these rides were not standing. They, you know... We had quite a while until these were built. And um, at the time I went, just as a side note, Son of Beast was actually standing, but it was during one of the periods when it was closed, and it was after they had taken out the vertical loop. So that's pretty interesting. I did get to see the structure of Son of Beast in person. Didn't get to ride it. Wish I could have experienced it once, but, you know, what are you going to do? Now, when I go to Carowinds this year, there's a few rides here I'm really looking forward to. Um, Fury 325, I mean, one of my most anticipated credits this year for sure. Great looking Giga Coaster. Looks fairly intense, very fun, maybe even some decent airtime. I'm also looking forward to Afterburn, which is a really intense looking being an invert. Um, so, along with Banshee, I'm going to be riding a couple great inverts this year. Also, Copperhead Strike, which is a new for 2019 ride, as it turns out. Very much looking forward to riding that. Um, it's going to be a really fun ride, I think. I don't think it's going to be... It's definitely not going to beat Fury 325, I don't think. Possibly could be the second best in the park. We'll have to wait and see when I ride it. Also, very much looking forward to riding Intimidator when I go here. Um, I'm going to be riding Diamondback, and I'll get to ride Intimidator too. kind of get to compare them, and it'll be interesting because those are both B&M Hypers that I've heard a lot of mixed things about. I think they're going to be really fun rides, so um, yeah, can't wait to check it out. Very much looking forward to Carowinds. Now we have King's Dominion, so I'm going to kind of hit up this trifecta of Paramount Parks in that area. We have King's Dominion, one of the originals. Um, there are 13 credits here. One of them is not going to be a new credit for me, as I've ridden Dominator at Geauga Lake. I loved that ride at Geauga Lake, and I cannot wait to experience it again. Always had so much fun on that ride. One of my favorite overall coasters I've ridden. It would be in my current top 10 out of the 55 I've ridden if it was still operating, but um, as we know, it's not. Now, the one I'm most looking forward to here we all know what it is. Intimidator 305 looks to be the most intense coaster on the planet. Oh my gosh, I, I am so excited. I don't know if I'm more excited for Intimidator 305 or Fury 325. I think overall I'm probably going to enjoy Fury more, but I think I'm more anticipating Intimidator 305 just because of that crazy balls-to-the-wall intensity that you get off of it. So that's going to be really cool. Twisted Timbers, oh man. It'll be my second RMC after Steel Vengeance. This also looks to be one of the best RMCs, I think. And I'm very much looking forward to riding it. It's just, it's all about the airtime. There's a couple of versions thrown in there, which look nice, but this ride's all about those big airtime hills. As far as Volcano the Blast Coaster goes, as we know, that's been closed for a while. I'm not counting on it being open. I hope it is. I really want to get to experience it. Looks very unique, but I don't see it happening. I'm not counting on that being open. Hopefully it is. We'll see. Next up, Kennywood. I've always loved Kennywood. Love, love, love Kennywood. This is going to be the last park I'm going to talk about as the three, as Carowinds, King's Dominion, and King's Island. I'm definitely going to be hitting up this year, or they're pretty much guaranteed. Um... And then Kennywood is also guaranteed. There's a couple other ideas I've kind of thrown around, but I don't know if I'll get to those parks. So um, Kennywood, I've ridden all of the currently operating coasters open at Kennywood, but we have Steel Curtain opening this year. I think it's going to be maybe not a top 10 coaster in the world, but I think it's going to be a great addition to Kennywood. 
It's going to be an elite coaster. It could possibly beat Phantom's Revenge as being the best in the park. I don't know. Phantom's Revenge is amazing. We'll just have to wait and see and ride it, obviously, with all of these. I I sound like a broken record saying that. But I cannot wait to ride Steel Curtain. I mean, it's just going to be... This ride has a lot of potential. I'll say that. I could say a lot more, but it has a lot of potential. So um, thanks for watching, everybody. And let me know in the comments what parks are you guys visiting this year? What new rides are you looking forward to riding? Or even if they're not new rides, what are you looking forward to riding this year? What are your plans? Um, maybe we could meet up at one of these parks someday um, if our trips line up. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you want more content on roller coasters and amusement parks. This is Coaster Daddy. Bye.